A dog allegedly left chained to a fence in Aiken with little nourishment may soon get some help. News Channel 6's Renetta DuBose is live in the newsroom. Renetta, rescuers are taking some steps to keep this dog safe. Yeah, Jenny, when we were there today, the dog just stood in one spot while chained to the fence. And one witness we talked with says it's been there for at least the past year. A lot of anger. A lot of hatred for the people that have left the dog like this. Few words and a lot of stares for this pup who's been chained up outside for what one witness says is a long time. She's her belly swole. She's half blind. She's been on the same chain in the same spot for 13 years. <laughs> Sorry. Treats for the dog were not enough to hold back the tears after Robin Mitchell with Bully for You Rescue. Finally decided enough was enough, and it was time to see about the dog herself. Bring me back to you. I promise. Mitchell's passionate plea led to more food for the dog and an inspection by code enforcement, who sees dogs tethered often. While he can't speak about the Hampton Avenue case, which also has dogs left inside a home without power, Bobby Arthur says he's pushing to make it illegal to chain up dogs. We see a lot of animals that are uh, left out on chains. Arthur says the area where dogs are chained is typically too small and prohibits the canines from running. He says the chains get tied up and restricts movement, and that just makes them aggressive. A lot of injuries occur every year from dogs that actually break off chains and end up biting people and in some cases actually killed kids. He's hoping to educate the public about the dangers of tethering with the help of local laws. Give the animal control officers um, a tool to work with when they're out in the field to work with the citizens to get these dogs off a chain. All Mitchell wants is more respect for furry friends. It needs to be a part of your family. It needs to grow up with your kids. Arthur says he is still working on the case and has made contact with the owner, so they may not need a search warrant. He wants rescue groups and others to take photos and document things such as a lack of food in order for code enforcement to build a case. As for the ordinance, it passed the first reading. We'll update you on that later. Brad?